attached to. And the best of luck. Now, our friend Ruth Langsford recently talked about how husband-to-be Eamon Holmes gave her the boost of confidence she needed in order to take part in Marco's kitchen burnout. However, perhaps he boosted her a little bit too much. Ruth said, the problem is Eamon tells everyone I'm a fabulous cook, and I started to believe it. And since I didn't do that well in the first heat, he's now telling everyone I don't cope very well under pressure. <laughs> uh, so it's good to hear that, you know, Eamon's behind her, he believes in her, but d do you think it's important that our men boost our confidence? Well, um, I don't know about important. I think it depends on how much you need it. I mean, I'm not quite as confident as everybody tends to think I am. You know, it's a bit of a misconception. I'm not really. I'm quite, I'm quite sort of, you know, a bit, bit shy sometimes and not very confident of my own abilities, you know. And I sometimes, you know, Mark's very good at that. He does tell me that I'm, that I'm really good at certain things. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> about I'm talking about usually in my work you know anything that I do for work I you know anything that I write I always think oh it's not very good and 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 he does actually say he never says anything really bad about me and especially the worst oh. thing about it is because he is younger you know you're gonna have a little crisis of confidence now and again especially if you've you've got a young boyfriend like I have and I'm I'm 50 now and you do sometimes look in the mirror and you do think oh no I'm just and I say certain things and he just he just banishes them as though, you know, like he hasn't even noticed. Do you know what I mean? Like, and he is very, very good at that. But so, and, and although I believe him when he mm. says it, I still don't quite believe it. Do you it. need it from him? Do you know him? what I mean? Not, I, I wouldn't say I, I need it because I'm quite good at, at, at boosting my own confidence in a way. I think yeah. about it quite a lot. You know, I, I try not to put myself down all the time. And, you know, well, I don't put myself down. And I think that's a, quite as, a, a secret. As long as he thinks you're great, that's yes, all that matters. Yes, he does, yeah. Well, I think it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm a bit like that with Paul, no, but actually. but you have to think you're great as well. Yeah, yourself. well, you have to believe it. And if it's somebody yeah. that you trust and they don't just generally kind of just pander to you they're, and they're straight talkers, then it's great when they give yeah. you a compliment. Paul's a bit like that. He's... he's He's, he's very straight and, and actually, there, I mean, especially recently, like my nan dying and everything, he's been so supportive and, and made me believe that I can take on a lot more than I actually thought I could and I think I would have crumbled had he not been Do you, do you mean great. take on emotionally more? Emotionally, like I arranged the funeral and stuff like that. I've never done a funeral before and, 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 it, and I didn't think I would be grown up enough and, mm. and be able to cope with it and, and he wouldn't have any of it and he convinced me. And, um, that I could do it and equally when when we we've been together a couple of years and, and Paul has always wanted a family and I kind of pretended that I did but I didn't really because I was scared of it and he convinced me that I wouldn't be a rubbish mum he said I think you'd be great and for years I would never have considered having a child mm. uh, but he made me believe that I could do the job and thank God you know because we've now got a lovely girl mm. but you know so I think I think it can be amazing if you get confidence from your partner yeah I mean you do need to have like Carol said you know you need to have an inbuilt belief in yourself even if you're not always that confident what you're doing but to have an, a belief it's nice to have somebody back you up and what what one of the things that still uh, that Steve does is that when I'm leaving to go somewhere I ask him you know what do you think I should wear and although he's a, you know he's a big burly builder he's actually got quite a good eye for what looks nice and what doesn't look nice and he's brutally honest he'll say no that doesn't look right that's no, but that looks great so because he's honest I believe him if he just mm. said everything looked lovely I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't believe him and he'll he'll as I go to the, go to the door he'll go knock him bandy oh. and it's <laughs> lovely so you go out feeling because normally if you ask a bloke does this look nice they'll sort of scan your eyes to oh yes. what, what's the yeah, answer can I know. phone a friend <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, I do. <laughs> I do. The thing is, uh, being Billy No Mates, um, oh. I can't talk about my partner. Thank We're you. Your mate. Yeah. Thank you. That's the correct. Thing you look to say. lovely in that. Uh, thank you. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so no, what I was going to say was, uh, so I look to um, w other friends of mine, like women friends, to actually, um, if I need a boost in confidence, and as you well know, I do need a boost in confidence, and I find it really hard to kind of. When you've been through things, you find it hard to come back that sometimes. And I feel okay now. But I wish, in a way, that it was 10 years ago that I had the confidence that's coming back now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I often think that, oh, why yeah, didn't it come back then? Everybody feels that. You know, everybody, yeah, as they get older, thinks, well, gosh, if I had this head on that body, that would be a really good mix. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I feel great now. I feel much better, much better. Do you but believe people, though, when, you know, because everyone's always trying to tell you how great you look. But you, I don't know if you believe it still. I, I, sometimes I think you might, but... Sometimes. I think, I, I, but it's really hard to believe. You know, it's hard oh. because you go, oh, thanks. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but, but thanks down, very much. Thinking, yeah. I'd rather be a fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said.
that. Okay, time for one last break. But on our return. <laughs>